YouTube, this is Dragonheart and welcome back to the Aravaki campaign for Total War Room 2 Hannibal at the Gates DLC. Now we are on the campaign map and it's snowing, it's Christmas over here in Spain. And in the last episode we declared war on the Astures, or Asture, or Astu, oh, I don't fucking know, Astures I'm going to go with. Now unfortunately my, my peeps in the Helmantica region are not happy with me. We are minus 8 and it's minus 77 so in a few turns time well actually we'll click on Helmantica and find this out for ourselves in three turns time there will be a rebellion so I need to get a big force here to counteract this I don't have any money so I have to end turn soon because this is the end of the previous it's where I left off basically this army fought at Ast Asterica and lost so I'm going to try to retreat to my own lands now and I try to replenish and recruit I can actually level up as well which is good so general details what can we have we can have provincial capital plus six tax rate plus three authority plus four morale I like the morale and go with that I think that's a pretty good uh, special special ability to have or buff to have quick check of diplomacy before we go off this so they hate us obviously because we are currently warring with them the gate Tuli, I am going to invade them shortly so but they won't be liking us much longer. Carthage likes me, which is great because I don't want to get into too many wars. I'm going to fly all the way down here at the bottom of the map. My boat can be moved. Let's move the boat. This army of 20 units is going to go to Gaetuli and it's going to hopefully take uh, the Gaetuli lands. I'll probably invade, land somewhere, set up a fortified stance, and then see if they come out to attack me. I don't want to attack them head on because I think I'd be a bit stupid. But anyway, this is hover all the way through my map, go back up towards you, because this is what's going to be happening and we can end turn, and while the end turn's going off I'd like to say I hope you're all having a great day I'm having a pretty good day myself and yeah, let me know in the comment section how your day's going and what your plans are for the day or evening or night, it depends where you are really um, I think where I live in the UK uh, we are about five hours ahead of America and I think we're about 12 hours behind Australia so it can be a bit a bit confusing sometimes anyway we're gonna move this ship to the south because we want to assist this this naval uh, vessage or visage I don't even know what's a word in, cr in creating my own words in this let's play visage vessel that's the word I meant I meant to say vessel I call them my Visage instead. My god. This army, oh my god, we can move this army out. Let's see. They like us? Oh, minus nine, uh, we don't. Oh, we can increase some stuff here. Let's see. Plus two public order. Plus three, plus two, plus three. Plus two, plus two, and plus two. Where's the three? And this also gives us growth. Iberian culture, which will be in interesting to have. So, the grove of Endovlicus. Endovlicus. This army can. Where's the border? Oh, this spy, actually, my spy. Let's see, what's nearest Carthage? Gates down there. I want to go over here towards Carthago, Nova, and Elitzi. So we're going to move my spy over there. This army, uh, we want to move them across for now. We're not going to go to war with Carthage yet, but I'd like to get them nearby, ready to spring into them once the war begins, which won't be for a while yet, but. I just like to plan these things in advance. Helmantica, it's not too bad now, let's just double check Helmantica quickly. Uh, oh my god, what am I doing? Why aren't you up oh, there? That's okay. Five turns, so we're improving things slightly. And uh, I think one or two more units. Let's see, we have Celt, Iberian Cavalry. I like these Scutari Spearmen, they're pretty cool units, so I'm going to go with two of them. We have 538 remaining, so I want to get. Oh, you bastards, look at those bastards. They are warring against uh, Astures. I want to take this settlement myself so the Vascones you evil bastards they're gonna claim all of this I don't want that because I'm gonna be up against the Vascones in the north as well which I don't want to see what sort of army do they have 16 units altogether they are suffering attrition let's see three units there five units there five aside five five three is 13 plus whatever the Eight to uh, twenty-one. They're not full units, so you've got to fancy the Vasconas. They're besieging, although the CGI is rather stupid. I'm going to clear out of this land, just get back over the border, start to replenish, and get some. We got cavalry. We get some. 
How many can we recruit? 530. One, two, three. We can get three of them this turn. And I'm happy with that. That's all our money gone again. And we can end turn once more. There we go. So we're cracking on with the campaign and it's going pretty well. In my head it's going well. It's probably not uh, in reality. Oh my god, what's happening here? An army to chase down, the Asturias. Oh, and they have lost Asturica. That's a shame. Bollocks. I wanted to take that for myself. Oh, damn. Right. Do I go to war with them instead? Maybe with this army, but i got to keep these guys happy because they, they want my head at the moment. And Helmatica can actually upgrade. Oh, let's see. What we need, we need a sacred enclosure, I think. We want to get that public order back, so let's get a sacred enclosure in Helmantica. That will help us out. Rebellion is for, uh, four turns away. This is going to take two. Plus, we have... We want to keep carry on building this this uh, army here. We don't have much fundage now coming to our empire, so I need to work on that. These guys, oh my god, there's only three of them. Although they could have mercenaries, which could cause me some problems. So I'm going to attack them now. There we go. And I'm going to auto-resolve this because, you know, what's the point? So auto-resolve, um, we want an aggressive stance. In the gut, oh my god, there he goes, he is dead. And he is gone, out of the game, game over. And I'm going to release to keep my public relations good with every other person in this game. Move these guys. I can't go back there yet. I'm going to do a quick merge with Control M. Do another one just in case. There we go. Oh my god, my cavalry's gone. There we go. Just to get some more full units. Lugos is fairly happy with me as well. Just flying through the campaign right now. Ooh, new man, new man, new man. Numantia can have an upgrade. Undeveloped land, expand the city. What can we have? We can't get it yet, but we might be able to in the next turn or two. Commons could be good. Enclosed land could be good. Artisans' lodgings could be good. And sacred enclosure. Celt Iberia. Numantia is not very good with me at the moment, so I might go with another uh, shrine. And that will be happening in the next turn. I want to double check mercenaries as well. I think it might have been this army. If we have mercenaries, let's see. Do, 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 do. No, we don't have any in this army. How about over here? I don't think I have any over here either. I want to try to make sure I don't have too many mercenaries because they can cripple your economy in this game. Uh, I just want to double check quickly. Just go through. Do, 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 do. Can see any mercenaries in there? Nope, no, 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 no. We're fine. Full stack army. This army is going to go north. You know what? We need another northern army, and I'm not prepared to go to war with Carthage until I've taken most of Iberia. The only thing standing in my way in Iberia now is, in fact, the Vasconis, they've expanded pretty well. Let's go have a nice little empire versus empire over here because they have one, two, three, four, five uh, settlements. They have a full province here and they're contesting my province over here. Now I need to start building some armies, bring them all nearby and start surrounding them and killing them. But that is going to happen shortly. But before that, we now have our friends over here. And we can, of course, sail away all the way over here. I'm going to be going on land shortly, but before that, let's see, 20 units, that's good. I want to declare war on the Gate Thule because I don't like them. So let's go into a war. There we go. You're going to die, my friends. Unfortunately, I'm in Force March. I didn't think this through. No, I didn't think this through at all, did I? Shit. <laughs> Fail. Can I rewind? Damn you. I just remembered that if they attack me now, I'm going to be in a... Oh, I didn't think this through. Mind you, they've only got 9 and 5. We could beat them, potentially, maybe, hopefully. Anyway, we'll worry about that when it comes to it, when I click end turn. But we're doing pretty well, I think. This army's going north. I can force march. My god, what am I doing? Force march these guys north. That's why I didn't do. There they go, up to the north, past Tolotum, past Helmantica, and there. And this province we've just checked, of course. So we can end turn again. Our food's going really well. I can't believe we have 29 food. I'm sure there's some glitch or something because I didn't think food would be coming to me this easily. And I forgot to move my ship as well, of course, damn it. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Oh, and now Carthage are offering me money and trade. I'm going to take this because why not? I need some trade. Get on Carthage good, si good side because they are a fairly big empire at the moment. One of the big players. Ah, and the gate only one piece. I don't think so, my friends. Unless, of course, you're willing to offer me money. In that case, we may become 
come to an agreement. So let's see, 4,000 is low. How much are you willing to give me? How about 3,000? It's moderate. I'm going to go with the 4,000 because I'm greedy. So let's go for 4,000. They'll offer 2,600. <gasps> uh, uh, can I... I can't get the same blood thing going on. You know what? Fuck you. <laughs> I want that land for myself. I don't care if I have to fight in a... Oh, they didn't attack me. That's strange. I thought they'd attack me. They had the perfect opportunity then. Looks like I'm going to have to attack the Gaetuli. This part. So we'll have a little battle on our hands shortly. But before that, I'm going to take this naval vessage to attack the Gaetuli ship. Why is the fleet over here? It doesn't make sense. Don't make sense to me. They've actually left one of their uh, units, so they're even less. What have they got? They got 11 plus 2, that's 13 plus 9, that's. Oh uh, my god, I can't count. More than me, they outnumber me, but we we will prevail. I have faith in in my terrible abilities as a battlefield commander. Let's get this, this army to the north. I'm going to try to pick them off. So take off, take off, take out Palantir take out some of these other uh, settlements. I could have done with the money actually. The good thing is though, even though they're minus 91, it's now plus 4, so they're not going to rebel, which is good of course, because we have that, that shrine. Oh, oh, we don't have that shrine, but we will have in one turn time. Uh, what was the province? Numantia, that's the one. Numantia. We need to build something new in Numantia, so we want, I think, sacred enclosure. I want to keep the public order good, you know. I think, yeah, that's, that's a fairly smart idea, I think, for now. And we're not at war with them yet, don't forget. But actually, let's just double check for Scones. They are same blood, I wonder. No, I didn't think so. If I win a few battles against them, that might change. So we will work on that eventually. But for now, we have to worry with the Gaetuli. So, without further ado, let's get this army into a no stance. I think I could probably attack them. You know what? Let's attack them. Let's attack them. I could auto resolve, but I want to show you guys a battle in this part. It's only fair. So I shall see you all on the battle map. Hello and welcome back. So we'll start the battle. As we can see, we have some Gaetuli ships over there. Now let's get the Ballista going. I think we want to try to aim for some of these ships. Oh, actually, no. We want to aim for the Numidian cavalry over here. And I want to get my slingers. So let's get them all grouped up. Like so. I'm going to push the line forward to there. I could sit back, but that would be kind of boring. So I'm going to bring all these all these th together like so into a secondary line behind them. I'm going to get some cannon shots going in a second because you know how I love the cannons in this game. <laughs> Keep all my cavalry on the flanks. We'll actually flank right with these two. This cavalry can flank left all the way up there to distract them. And while that is happening, Ballista will get them on right click. And we can actually zoom in on some of these guys. Let's, let's have a look at my general. Where is he? Where are you, you old bastard? Oh, charge for the king, for the king of Iberia. Wow, it's beautiful, isn't it, guys? Lovely detailing. Nice sandals, by the way. <laughs> right, I want to get my... Oh, my God, what am I doing over here? I hope not hurt my old men. I don't think we are. We're okay, we're good to go. Let's get some shots away. Kill them all. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> okay, we'll forget about that for now. Let's get the cavalry going. Let's get them going. What have we got? We got Iberian and my general. Oh, is this the beast general? I think it is. Cel Cel Celerix. I think he's my beast general. I love Cel Celerix. Me and him go a long way back. Brothers from another mother. Right, let's get this, this, uh, what are they called? You know what they're called, slingers. <laughs> let's get them forward. Let's, let's get them into this little gap here. Get some slings going. Sling, sling, sling. And this unit's routing over here. Cavalry. Let's get them into the little uh, gap way by here. And it looks like they've probably got some units hidden at the back of this settlement, but I'm not worried about that for now. I want to get some damage done to them. What the hell? Where are you going, Ballista? You fools. What on earth? Listen to me, you fools. Right, they all turn in. That's good. Finally, they listen to me. 
they listen to their master. Let's get them to attack. Ballista attack. What do they have on the flanks? They have spearmen. Want to watch them with the cavalry? They could prove to be a very prickly character indeed. Ah, look at them. Very yellow indeed. Oh, oh my. Ballista, he's dead. He is dead. Is he dead? I think he is. Yeah, he's dead. So the ballista's doing damage. I want to whittle them down as best as I can. What's the range of my slingers? If they go forward slightly more, about there, get them on right click as well. That should be um, sustainable, sustainable damage to them. Let's see if we can get some shots away because I'd like to kill a few of them. Fire! Oh, that's terrible. I can't fire properly in this game. Let them do it themselves, I think. Right, we're going to flank right with the cavalry. I can see they've got the slingers on the right flank. They've got cavalry, but two of them are slingers. We can take them out easily. Missiles are going to attack them and charge them. And we will look at the damage they do in a second. Look at this. Oh, and the blisters flying overhead. Like an alien object. Very, very neat indeed. I don't know if we've got a good range on the units here with the the little huts and tents and stuff in the way. Bit of a sight for sore eyes. Anyway. How much damage are we doing? Only four? Oh. Oh, now they're starting to die. That's good. As long as they're getting kills, I don't mind. Noble cavalry. Noble cavalry. Not taking any hits by the slingers over here, are we? Doesn't look like it. I think we're okay. General's over here. Could aim for the general. What's he got? 160 noble infantry. How about a charge from a cavalry? Oh, wait. They're doing a spearman. Forget that. Forget that. Let's get my... Ballista to attack their general. Let's get them to continue firing there. I want to minimise my casualties as best I can. I haven't lost a man yet, I don't think, have I? Nope, haven't lost a man. Don't want to lose any bullshit in this match. Battle, contest, bourgeois, whatever you want to call this uh, this game. <laughs> and let's bring my general, my general, my cavalry forward to the end. I'm going to probably bring up the main line now. Uh, let's get them to here. Let's get them in. Yeah, it's a bit untidy, but they're in the, the vicinity. Warriors eager for blood. Noble cavalry. Here we go. Cavalry has has taken a bite. Oh, charge me! Come on, charge me! Charge me! Charge me! So I want. Oh, they got caught up on the tents. Damn it! Why couldn't you charge me like a normal AI? Well, if they go to the back turn, we'll continue to, to hurt them from where they are. Are we slinging them? I think we are. Yeah, we are. We're slinging them. Getting some shots away on them. Oh, a horse just... Just jeered. Left flank. Not attacking me yet. Don't know why they're not attacking me. A bit uh, concerned. I'm not going to complain, but it does make it a bit easy. Just put it that way. Can we get a charge on the javelin man? I'm going to take the one cavalry unit to the right flank now. And attack. We're going to take... Oh, the slinger's doing well on the Numidian cavalry. That's good. Bring my noble cavalry there as well. Iberian cavalry. Checking some of the special abilities. I'm going to try and flank around with this cavalry unit. Try to get behind where the javelin and bullshit is. Battle ready. Let's get the shots going. Oh my god, look at that. Wow. Wow. Lovely building. Was a lovely building. And we are, as expected, being counter charged up here, I think. Yep, they're countering me. Don't mind this. Take them on a walk to the other end of the battlefield. Drag them away while they are dragged away. Push up. You know what? Let's just get them all up. Spear ready. Locked and charge. Charge. Back round here. Ballistas have been used up. They can get out of the battlefield now. Get my slings to attack these, which are kind of trying to counter charge me over here. Missiles. Here we go, lovely. Frenzy charge. Charge! Kill them all. Die, you motherfuckers. 
Here they go. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh, he's dead. Isn't it beautiful? I better concentrate a bit more because I might lose this if I if I get too enjoy enjoyed enjoyment. If I get too much enjoyment. Shit, what's happening over here? What the hell's going on? I'm being charged by spearmen, it's not good. Get the slings to keep charging them. All slings. Get them all to charge the general because we want that bullshit dealt with. Frenzy. Frenzy. Let's get a frenzy going on all these guys. My general. War cry. Inspire. And I've lost one of my swordsmen, that's not good. Oh, I want to get my, my general out of there. The spearman. My god, didn't look at that. My fault. Oopsie. Wasn't paying much attention to my general then. It's okay, we, we're dealing with them. They're almost, they're almost gone. There we go, they're gone. <laughs> End battle. Victory. Decisive victory. Excelente. So we only lost 109. Very good battle. Who had the most kills? Horseman 118. 184, 147. So pretty good stats there by some of my units. Who had the less, the least? 25 by one of my swordsmen, I think. Oh, into the knee. That is going to hurt. He's gone. Rutabis is ours, or Rutabis. Occupy. Increase in rank. And we have taken out the Getuli, I think. Oh, no, wait, they have that one chip, don't they? They're, they're gone, though, aren't they? They only have five units remaining. They're going to suffer attrition. And I have a ship coming their way. So we probably have our first naval battle in the next part or so. And we can heal up nicely over here with our new province and we can increase something. What can we go for? Public order. Morale. I, I like the morale, see. I like having the morale. Although plus two skill attack would be useful as well. We'll go for that one instead. But anyway, the Gatulia gone. I've been Dragonheart. Until next time, goodbye.